Hi guys! Um, so it is the first weekend in February, which means it is time for me to film my monthly favorite. So this is for January 2013. Um, I have quite a few things to share with you, and let's just get started. As you can see, I'm like already in Valentine's Day mode. I love Valentine's Day. Even if you don't have a Valentine, I just think it's so much fun to just like buy heart-shaped like candy and send yourself flowers and like I fully was one of those like before I met my husband I was like totally one of those girls that like went to Godiva and got chocolate covered strawberries and then I would like drink champagne and watch French movies like the night of Valentine's Day and I had like such a blast with like me and a girlfriend or something so now that I'm married you know it's different I still like the kind of playfulness to it like I don't make it a big deal or anything like my husband doesn't have to buy me like jewelry or anything I just like the art like the exchanging of a valentine and I just get a kick out of this kind of stuff in it anyway so that being said um I'm going to just kind of dive right in sorry I had to adjust my camera a little bit just because I feel like I'm look like I'm short so I'm just gonna dive right in because I have like I think I'm in the double digits of things I have to show you this month because I um to kind of stem from what I had said in my last haul video, I'm not doing any hauls until I'm at. Um, I have exchanged products that weren't working for me to get new products, but I haven't actually spent any money. So um, that being said, some of the stuff are samples or things that I have found through samples that I like, um, but they're all, they're all for the most part new products I think I'm showing you or things that I've kind of figured out that I really love. So let's just dive okay, in. Okay, so the first product uh, that I'm favoriting is actually part of like my hair care routine now and I'm going to actually show you three items that I favorited this month that are all part of my hair care routine. So I'm going to kind of show them to you in the order that I use them. Um, the first is this. It's from my Holiday Influencer Vox Box. It's the Goody Quick Style brush. It's a paddle brush. And these are little microfibers, like little towels type things. So let me show you. See how they're like little towels? Sorry if you see the hair in there. I apologize. Um, but it's supposed to reduce your drying time by like 30%. And I don't necessarily know if that number is accurate, but I do notice a difference. And I also notice um, that... I noticed that my hair is just better like when I'm blow drying it so um, I've, I've noticed that it doesn't necessarily get a mind of its own so much and what I like about this is despite the fact that it's a paddle brush it does still provide your hair volume so because I typically have pretty lamp shady hair uh, like by nature it's pretty coarse uh, I have a lot of hair so it's just you know it could become problematic but I have really enjoyed what this has done for my head and it's $11.99 I think retail and truthfully I would buy it again like if something ever happens to this guy and I have to buy a new one I won't even think twice about it I really do like this I have used it every single time I've washed my hair since I've gotten it and I've noticed like there's one time that I almost because I hadn't like established it in my routine yet I was like what's missing <gasps> oh and I grabbed it and I was like oh so much better like I just truly like this thing is awesome um so what I do typically when I am um washing my hair is when I turn off my shower I take my hair and I just kind of ring, like kind of press it I don't like wring it because I don't want to break my hair but I do kind of like almost press it just to get as much of the water out as possible in the shower and then when I get out um, I'll take my towel and I'll just kind of press it again I really try not to rub or pull or anything like that um, so then I'll take Moroccan oil light and I'll run it through basically from like my kind of like mid shaft like right below my crown all the way down and I focus it on my ends and then I will take my Bumble and Bumble grooming cream which this is the dream cream for those who love to look polished elegant and smooth but hate to work at it this is probably my second or third bottle of this stuff um, I just take this it's really easy just kind of like turn the bottom squeeze it out turn it back, back on your shelf and then uh, I work it around my top and then I'll pull it down so it's it tends to focus on my crown up here and then I'll just kind of pull it down um, through my ends really pretty quickly and then I um, proceed to blow dry my hair so I use this and then when my hair is not so much damp anymore like it's kind of on the drier side but you, there's definitely still some moisture to it I'll run a little bit of this through it this is the Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine it is unique and hard to define. It gives hair polish and a sort of languid, slept in, sexy look. And 
Add it as you poke. And I'll run this um, through it real quick and then I'll finish blow drying. And I love this. I actually, um, this is one of the things that as I've said throughout my no buy, I had a sample of this and I used it and I loved it. Uh, so I went out and I had to return some lip products that weren't the right shades for me. And instead of just getting correct shades because I have a million lipsticks, I just got this guy and a couple of things. But um, I really love this stuff. And I have colors, I mean you guys know I just did my hair. I have color treated hair. I have coarse hair, it's wavy. My hair is like my skin, it's just a pain in the ass. So um, I like these products because, you know, you. I don't think there's protein in either one of them. So you can use your keratin or whatever you use separately. Um, but I don't have to worry about like it making my hair brittle. I don't have to worry about it, like screwing up my color, anything like that. It's good quality, it lasts you a long time. This stuff really does last you quite a long time. And then you use less of this than you would the grooming cream anyway. So I like the brand. I really like these specific products for me. Um, I just bought the prep, but I haven't used it yet. So um, again, exchanged it for something. So no buy intact. Um, but I haven't used it yet, but from what I've, read regarding the reviews it's kind of perfect for me for like kind of like reinvigorating the products and refreshing your hair and stuff so for like second and third day hair it gives it more like style which is exactly what i was looking for out of a product so maybe that'll be my february favorites but so yeah so these are my first three january favorites i'm loving them um these two things i bought at sephora this one again came in my holiday vox box um i think you can find these at target though somebody commented below in my other video and told me that they definitely saw this at Target, so maybe they have it there and maybe you can find a coupon. So, okay. Next up is new lip loves. Um, I bought this at Kentucky when I was on Christmas vacation. This is by Buxom. If you guys haven't tried Buxom lip glosses, I 110% blame Rachy B15, you all know my friend Rachel, for getting me hooked on this stuff. I'm hooked on book on um NARS lip glosses that I did to myself because I really love NARS products, but secondly, Buxom. And I totally 100% blame Rachel. She knows this. This is not news to her. But um, this color is gorgeous. And it's just a really wearable kind of red. Um, it's like a cranberry red, but it's not as cranberry. It's like the brandy, the one that she had on in that one video and I bought. Consequently, and it's just a really beautiful shade for especially this time of year if you want to have a little bit of a red lip on but you don't want that maintenance of a red lip this is a really good option um, and it's also it's really nice for people who can't pull off like a brick red or if you can't pull off like like a real blue red um if you're a little like timid about that this is a really good option for you and it's it's a lip gloss so it's not like you know it's not as fussy as a lipstick is you don't have to worry about it drawing out your lips or you know making it look flaky or feathering or anything like that this is not going to do that for you and it's like i think this was 19 dollars, maybe 20. it's in that range um but again i really love it i've been wearing it almost non-stop this whole month anytime i need some just kind of a boost um Especially like the, lately, the last couple of weeks have been just kind of a pain in the ass getting up in the morning. So I'll do like a light eye just to save myself some time. And this you can slap on in the car and you just look polished. It's such a good idea, especially if you kind of work in an office or anything and you need to look polished a lot. This is a really good idea. So again, this is Va Va Voom by Buxom. And I don't know which type of gloss this is. I know they have, a, oh, this is full body lip gloss. Never mind, I do. See, hang on. Okay, and then my next one that I kind of just got, but I'm favoriting it already because I have fallen in love with this thing so quickly, it's ridiculous. This is the Josie Marin Argon Lip Treatment, and it comes in this little, like, I don't even know how to describe this container. It reminds me of Aladdin, um, but I just love it. It is so nice. Um, you all know that I love the Christian Dior creme de rose lip balm. I really love the Jouer conditioning lip treatment. Any kind of really good moisturizing, hydrating lip treatment I'm all about. And I think this is definitely, if not my absolute new favorite, totally ranks. Um, I'm actually giving it away in my Facebook giveaway for the month of February. And um, not this specific bottle, obviously, but I'll give you a new one. But it, I'm serious, like it's so good. I got this in a 500 point Sephora, um set and oh my god it's totally worth it and i think this is full size too which is like 18 bucks so it's a pretty good deal but this stuff is amazing 
Um, and if you're somebody who has an aversion to like chemicals and stuff, you like natural products, her brand is really good. Uh, okay, so next up is um, tweezers. I have actually had these for a really long time um, and I was noticing, I was editing a video this week and noticing that my brows were getting a little crazy so I, um, I did them and I haven't had to sharpen these yet and they're still razor sharp. These are the Tweezer Man pink tweezers. They have the little elephant charm on them. Y'all know how much I'm obsessed with elephants. Clearly I have one tattooed on me. Um, I love these things. I'm sure you all have. These are man tweezers, but this is my favorite because it's super cute and it's super effective. And I think they do free sharpenings like for the lifetime of your tweezers, which is such a good, such a good um, selling point and a really good investment on that point. And if you're not somebody who's a fan of the charm, they have a little like, you know, clasp you can take it off on, but I really love it. Uh, next thing, uh, something from the no buy is the NARS makeup cleansing oil. I had a sample of this. I did like three eye makeup tutorials in one day and just to kind of blitz out I'm really trying to get through these smoke tutorials for you guys and I'm having a bitch of a time editing them but filming them is not so bad. Um, but I was using this to take it off because I didn't want to strip the moisture from my eyelids and I'm telling you this stuff is really nice. I would highly recommend getting a sample of it first because it is an oil, so some people react to oils differently than others, and different oils have different you know, reactions on skin in general. I have sensitive skin, so I always have to get samples of any kind of skincare before I ever buy anything, but I really like this, and it's nice because it replenishes your skin, so you don't feel like your skin is stripped if you are like, I don't think a lot of you do this, but like I was putting it on and taking it off, and putting it on and taking it off, and this stuff really helped, so love it. Um, I also, if you don't want an oil, the Chanel eye makeup remover, I think it's like a bifacile or something. It's, that's really, really nice. I love that one. That's my favorite. And then my second one is Estee Lauder. The gentle one is really nice as well. Um, but if I had to recommend one, I'd recommend the Chanel. Okay. So next one is a highlighter. I also bought this in Kentucky before my no buy started. This is the NARS Satellite of Love bronze, or it's, um, highlight and here. I'll show you. I keep my little NARS plastic in there. It's a really kind of almost, I mean for a highlight it's pretty dark, but it is beautiful. I have it on today. Look right up in here and then down the bridge of my nose. And what I like about this is if you're not somebody who wants like a champagne, um, like luminosity to your skin, if you don't want that like kind of like JLo brightness, this is a really good, um, I keep wanting to say bronzer. This is a really good highlighter for you. And it's not, it's not like too shimmery on. It looks really shimmery in the pan, but let me see if I can get like a really close up view for you. Yeah, see, I mean, it looks really glittery, but it doesn't go on like that at all. I mean, you can see like, it's pretty, um, it adds obviously it adds light to your skin, but it doesn't make it look like a disco ball. So I have been using this not every day, but it's definitely been the highlighter of choice when I've been putting highlighter on for the last solid month. So I'm really enjoying that. Kind of rediscovering my love of NARS products. I have like a slew of lips and um, a couple of blushes and stuff, but lately I have just been like kind of, cause I'm going through these samples, I'm kind of bombing on a lot of this stuff and I hate it. And I'm noticing that a lot of my NARS stuff is like wonderfully effective. So I'm definitely kind of re-falling in love with this brand. Okay, so my last makeup love for this month is maybe my new Holy Grail mascara. I actually am almost 100% on that statement. This is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. This is the waterproof, because you all know I don't buy anything but waterproof. Um, it looks like this. It has like a rubbery um, brush with like those kind of, let me see if I can show you. See the bristles? I've been told this is like the Maybelline response to the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I've never used Lash Blast. I don't really use a lot of CoverGirl. Don't ask me why. I think I have like a trauma from when I was a teenager or something. But um, I really, really love this. It is, if you're not somebody who likes to wear false lashes, I think this is the closest thing to making your natural lashes look like falsies. Uh, I think it's like way more effective than the falsies. Um, I was using the Colossal for Oh hell, like two, three years for however long it's been out. 
that has been my holy grail and I've always had it on hand and I do have it on hand but I haven't reached for it since I've gotten this one. Um, I bought this and I bought the Colossal Cat Eyes at the same time and I still have the Cat Eyes in the package. I haven't even opened it yet. Like that's how much I love this. So I am like obsessed with this guy. I think it's awesome. I haven't actually seen it marketed as much as all the other stuff is and maybe that's just me not paying attention but I think it's that being said, at least from my perspective, I think it's kind of like a hidden gem. Um, and I could be completely wrong. Like for all I know, it's in every other magazine, but I haven't been reading them. But this stuff is awesome. I highly recommend it. If you are not somebody who wants to put on 75 coats of mascara, if you're not somebody who likes to use a million different bottles or tubes or anything like that, if you want kind of like a wham bam, thank you ma'am mascara, this stuff is the best. I'm serious. And it's drugstore, so it's like six bucks. Okay, so last two things and then I'm done, I promise. Um, the, the first one is like an accessory and I don't really feature a lot of like jewelry because I'm, I'm not, I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. Um, but I saw this on Instagram and I, I saw this like hashtag on a couple people that I follow and I'm like, what the hell is this? Um, and so I finally, I Googled it and I found it. It is these bracelets. And they're called, it's by a girl named Jackie, and she runs, basically the brand is called The Lace Project. And I don't know a lot about, like, the name of it or, like, if it's supposed to mean something. I, I haven't done a whole lot of research in that respect, but I just really love these bracelets. And I just put them on for the video because I'm walking around in this sweatshirt and it doesn't exactly go together. But um, let me see if I can show you. I have eight on, and they come in sets of four. And she does, these are all handmade. And each bracelet has something on it. So as you can see, like the chains on this guy, these are all hand done. This guy has a stone on it. I'm like, I love these things. This one has that little gold with the, okay. And then these, look at the stones on these. Or the beads rather on those. I just love them, they're so pretty. I'm gonna Instagram, or excuse me, I'm gonna show you pictures of these up close. I just love them. If you're, like, I don't really wear a lot of, like, precious clothing. I don't wear anything frilly. Um, I'm not, like, Laura Ashley is not my friend. Like, I'm not that kind of a dresser. Um, I like an edgier, I like studs, I like a sharp shoulder, I like black and gold. Um, I like sequins, but I don't like frilly or bows or anything like that. And I love this because it's kind of badass, but in like a really kind of cute, fashionable way. Because by no means am I somebody who's going to like beat you up. Um, but I just love them. And she's really, really nice. Her name is Jackie, and I'm going to link her uh, website below. And if you want to purchase them, you actually have to email her directly. So I'll leave her website. And if you guys are interested, you can kind of shop around. Um, I'll also leave her Instagram because that's actually how I found her. And it's really nice because her website doesn't really explain like how talented she is. Um, it's through her Instagram that you kind of realize like, oh my God, this girl's awesome. So I'll link her, all her stuff below if you are interested in these things. Um, I think for... I think they're like, they range, depending on what you get, they range between like 40 and something a bracelet. I just got sets of four. I like emailed her and she said, well, what do you want? And so I showed her pictures that she had posted and I was like, I love these. So she just basically made me sets of four and I think those were like 120. But what's nice is that they're all handmade. They're made in America. They're actually made in Los Angeles, I think by her. Um, and she's really talented and I really like supporting people who like clearly, you know, it makes an impact on them and you know that like it's not going to some massive corporation or anything like that. Like whenever I can do that, I want to do that. So I really have been loving this stuff. Um, huge shout out to her. She's really talented. So yeah. So again, Jackie, the Lace Project. I'm going to buy, if I had like smaller arms, I would buy so many and just wear them up to my elbow, but they don't go up that high. So I'm like crazy about these. These and like my wedge sneakers have been rocking my whole month of January. All right, so here's her card. All right, and then lastly, um, I don't remember when I talked about my Nespresso Pixie. I think I 
I bought it at the beginning of December, so it had to be in a video right around then. I don't remember which video specifically it was in though, so I'm very sorry. But um, I've had a lot of people ask me actually what my Nespresso like pod of choice is and it took me a couple of months or what is it the end of beginning of February so it took me about two months to figure out exactly which one I like the most and it is this one it is the Nespresso Levanto um it's a darker coffee if you're somebody who likes like fruity or mild coffee you and I do not have the same taste in coffee I like dark so uh this is the one that I reach for the most. My second favorite is the Voluto. It's the V-O-L-L-U-T-O. But this is my number one love. And I'm so hooked on these guys. Um, my Nespresso, by the way, if you guys ever want to get like a automatic espresso machine that's just like super easy, all automatic, very small footprint, get that. It's such, it's just, it's awesome. Okay, so yeah, so that I figured I would answer a question and also highlight a favorite at the same time. All right, so those are my January favorites. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I hope to have a couple of tutorials up here shortly and uh, a DIY one as well. Everything I'm wearing, oh, 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 I do want to make a comment. I've had a bunch of people, like I guess new subscribers because I have a lot of new subscribers, so thanks guys. Um, but a lot of you guys have been asking me to start listing what I've got on in the video, so I promise you I'm going to start doing that. This video will be the first one I do that. I have no idea what the hell I wore a year ago, so I am very sorry if you have commented me asking me what I wore in like a March video. I don't remember. I don't list it. Um, but I promise you I will start. So if you are curious as to what's on my face, what, who made this sweatshirt, who, where did I buy these earrings, I will list it all below, okay? So thanks guys, and I hope you have a great February and a great weekend, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.